Tesla has released a pair of safety updates to the Tesla fleet to help us stay in our lanes. All that coming up right now. So Tesla has released a pair of safety updates to the Tesla fleet to help us stay in our lane. And what do we mean by that? Well, Tesla released two significant safety updates, one being lane departure avoidance and emergency lane departure avoidance, each of which is designed to help us as a driver stay in our lane as we veer off. Let's go over each one in detail. Lane departure avoidance will audibly and visually alert you should you drift out of your lane when your hands are not on the wheel. This feature will work while you are using traffic aware cruise control as well as just driving the car in its normal state. This feature can be turned on or off but will be re-enabled the next time you drive your car. This feature will also work from 25 miles per hour to 90 miles per hour. The emergency lane departure avoidance system will automatically bring the car back into your lane if it feels like you are drifting out of your lane and has the potential for an accident or for you to hit something. These features are huge and I am so glad to see Tesla putting forth effort to make our cars safer each and every day. So today we are going to take you on a ride to show you both of these safety updates in the real world. So before we jump in the car and I take you on a drive and show you how these features work, I wanted to state my disclaimer. During this video, under no circumstance did I put myself or anybody else around me in any immediate danger. I was very cautious of who was around me and where I was doing these tests. I was ready to take action and control the vehicle at all times. So come on, let's go take a ride. All right, so we're gonna check out some of the new features of 16.2 as it relates to lane departure warning and some of the additional safety features that have been released in this update. All right, so lane departure, okay, so you'd automatically fixed it right then and there. So lane departure warning and auto correction, which really a lot of current vehicles do have today um, but Tesla has gone a little bit further in how they go ahead and have the vehicle identify and then correct itself to get you back centered in the lane. Now, it's not going to do this per Tesla's release notes every single time. So there may be a time where you think it's going to correct, but it will not. So you really have to pay attention to the road is basically what they're saying. So let's give it a try here and see what happens. If I drift without a turn signal, take control immediately. And it brought me back into the lane and gave me an audible alert saying, hey, dummy, uh, you're drifting outside of your lane. Take control of the car. Um, so this is really, really nice. Uh, it's a great feature. We're gonna try it on the expressway as well and just see how well it does there. This is just a simple two lane highway, but you can see it really, really corrected it. But what I did want to try and test here is how close do I have to be to the to the line in order for it to correct itself? And pretty much right now, there we go. So corrective steering applied for your safety, potential collision detected. And it could have been from the mailboxes or something on the side of the road. So you see it had two different variables there. Um, one was a caution, hey, take control of your vehicle, we recentered you. And the other one was, we detected a possible collision and auto-corrected your steering based on the information that the car received. This is some great safety features. I love it when Tesla takes the opportunity to make this car safer with each and every update. And I think above everything else that was done in the 16.2 update, the safety features are the key factors in this update and if they continue down that path with providing these kinds of safety feature updates this car is just going to get so much better and comment down below but you tell me what vehicle in the world on the market currently available for purchase has these kinds of safety features and allows the car to get better with a software update and i think that that's the key part there software updates allow this car to get better and better. And as Tesla continues to improve 
the visual experience of what the car actually sees around it and how it interacts with its surroundings, man, this car is just gonna get safer and safer. And pretty soon, these features are a roadmap, or I shouldn't say pretty soon, what I'd like to say is that these features are truly the roadmap to full self-driving. So I think as they continue to progress through that, the car is gonna get better and obviously full self-driving will be um, a, a feature that we may all see soon. But anyway, so there you have it. There is you know, basic two lane highway, lane departure warning, lane departure detection, and lane departure auto correction. Fantastic feature. Above all else, in this update, these safety features are paramount and what I believe are the most important. Traffic aware cruise control is enabled. I have complete control of the steering wheel. I have nobody really on the left of me. Oh, there it goes. Automatically brought me back in, but it did not warn me. So let's try that again. Oh, see that time I'm riding the white lines and it's not doing any corrective actions there. have my turn signal on so really what it should be doing is it should be auto correcting right now and it's not obviously an autopilot it isn't going to do that because it's going to keep you centered into the lane so that that's a big difference let's try it on this side and see what happens nothing that's odd so now let's take it out of traffic aware cruise control so now I have full control of the accelerator and the steering. And I'm going to scoot over here immediately. Take control immediately. So it did it, but it won't do it on traffic aware cruise control. That's odd. Let's try it again. Immediately. Get back in your lane. All right. So let's put it back on traffic aware cruise control. The only thing that it's doing is just maintaining my speed. It's not... I'm not an autopilot, so let's do it again. Nothing. What's the difference? Why does it work when I'm not in traffic aware cruise control versus when I am? Um, I think that that's a flaw. I think it should work either way. All this is just holding my acceleration down to a desired speed. I still have complete control of the steering wheel, so why would it not react to me drifting out of my lane in traffic aware cruise control? I think that's something Tesla certainly needs to fix. Um, there is a lot of times where I don't, um, oh, something just flying in a the road there. Um, there are a lot of times where I don't use autopilot, where I just use traffic aware cruise control, and it would certainly be nice to be able to make sure that if I'm drifting outside of my lane, that it would take control of the car or at least get me back center. As soon as this car passes me here on the left, we're gonna go on the left and see if it takes any kind of action. Now that time it did, without any visual warning or audible notification. Let's see if it does it again. Nope, it let me cruise right across the lane. So there's something to be said with traffic aware cruise control. I wonder if Tesla is aware of this, but it should actually absolutely work when I'm in this mode. So I'm out of traffic aware cruise control. I have complete control of acceleration and steering. Let me sneak over here to the left and see what happens. Boom, immediately, immediately pulls me over. How about the right side? Boom, immediately pulls me over. Why doesn't it work? So let's get back to traffic aware cruise control. Speed up here a little bit. And let it drift and may, maybe that's what I'm doing maybe instead of me driving toward that lane I just need to let it drift and let's see what happens here All right. ah there it goes okay so so maybe I had a little bit too much force on the steering wheel when I was engaging the edge of my lane Therefore, the car's like, hey, he's he's actually taking it there. So it seems that it is sensing the difference between a drift. Let's see. Yep, absolutely. Absolutely. That is fantastic. 
So what I was doing is I was sort of forcing the car to the edge of the lane instead of allowing the car to drift on its own. And it's amazing that it can tell by the pressure, obviously on the steering wheel, whether or not I'm doing it or whether or not the car is actually drifting. So I guess I killed um, that myth about it not working in traffic aware cruise control. So again, here I'm just letting it drift. Okay, that time it did not do it. So hence the release note. It may not work every time. Make sure you are in control of the vehicle. So let's see again here. I'm just gonna let the car sort of drift around. Nope, I had to take action on that one. So, you know, I only thing I could say is pay attention to the road so that you are in control of the vehicle. It's a nice feature, but obviously I think I just proved it doesn't work every single time. Um, let's see, let it just drift this time and see what happens here. Okay, it did it that time. And you can see that there are actually some times where it gives me an audible alert and then sometimes where it just pulls me back in. So um, I don't know why it does that. I'll try and do a little more research um, on the release and see if there's any specific information around that so I can share it with the community. And I'll go ahead and post down below uh, once I do find out that information. Everybody has a different perspective on why they buy a car, but for me, with my family, safety is, is paramount above everything else. And to see features enhanced like this, this is just a bonus. I feel safer when my wife and my child get into the car, even though I'm, I consider myself a good driver. You just never know. Um, it, it takes one second to take your eyes off the road or something like that, and you could be seriously put in harm's way. So it's nice to see that there are some safety features here that Tesla is really looking at um, to help us be safer drivers and even when we should be in control of our vehicles. So the one thing I don't like is that every single time that it does a correction, it should audibly warn you. Because what if I fell asleep? Just a small jerk of the car doesn't necessarily wake me up, right? So I think that that audible alert should happen every single time that the car has to intervene and bring you back in to the lane. What are your thoughts? That's what I want to see every single time that this happens. Let's see if it happens again. Very good. What happens when it's three in a row? Well, it didn't do anything that time. I wonder if there is a limit to how many times it will correct you before it starts slowing down the car and pulling you over. That would be the next phase of the safety feature, in my opinion. One, two. And the third time, it didn't even do anything. So, I think again, another tweak that Tesla needs to make um, with this auto correction. Maybe it's three times, maybe it's two times before the vehicle starts to slow down, hazards turn on, and give some kind of loud audible alert in the cabin here to either wake you up if it continues to happen and or get you safely off the side of the road. So I think that those are some improvements that Tesla can certainly make, probably fairly easy, and something that we might see in the very near future. But I think, you know, the multiple occurrences of, of me drifting in and out of a lane should certainly indicate something. Bring the car down, slow down, get my hazards on, do something to let people around me know that, uh-oh, something's going on with that car up there. And then people behind you can quickly identify that and get out of the way. Because that scenario there was basically me, I don't know, maybe I, maybe I fell asleep at the wheel and it corrected me two times in a row, but the third time it just let me continue to drift and the audible alert stopped and I was already, you know, a quarter of the way over into the other lane. So not very good. Let's see what happens here again. Wow, nothing that time. Absolutely nothing. 
So I don't know, Tesla, maybe we need to go back a little bit and get this thing tightened up. Again, nothing. So folks, there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please feel free to comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are about these two new safety feature updates that Tesla has made. As you can see in my video that there certainly could be some tweaks that need to be done to these two um, software updates, but I think Tesla is putting their right foot forward. It's great to have a vehicle that gets these types of updates and makes the car safer and safer. I've said this in many of my videos, um, before that it is just a, a luxury to be able to have a vehicle that these updates do take place in. There are many vehicles out there that are being manufactured that are built with those safety features and that's it. There, there are no updates and I think that everybody who owns a Tesla or has been watching or reading about anything about Tesla knows that this is a huge benefit of owning um, a Tesla and I feel great um, being part of that movement. So feel free to comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. And please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching.